Hello everyone. This is Dr. Sanket Pisat. I am a gynecological endoscopic surgeon practicing in Mumbai, India. And today we are going to be looking at uh, one of the very common and significant causes of infertility and one of the most often for performed gynecological endoscopic surgeries in present day practice which is endometriosis endometriosis is a condition whose incidence has been steadily increasing over the past 15 to 20 years and we ourselves as practitioners find a lot of endometriosis in a lot of different age groups in the present times let's first take a look at what exactly endometriosis is and how it affects patients essentially the cause of endometriosis is not known for sure but it is supposed to be genetic in a lot of cases that means if your mother or your sister has had endometriosis there's quite a good chance that you may develop the pathology as well the other somewhat explainable reason for this condition is that of retrograde menstruation meaning that the menstrual blood instead of finding its way out through the vagina every month tends to accumulate inside the abdomen and then goes and deposits on various organs surrounding the uterus like the ovaries the intestines the urinary bladder and then it starts affecting their function as time passes most patients with endometriosis typically complain of painful menses this is the most common and the most bothersome factor for most people in which they complain of a severe pain that starts just before the expected date of the menses lasts for as long as the periods last and then goes away on its own only to come back in the next month there can of course be variations in the timeline but mostly these are the symptoms patients also complain of dyspareunia which means there is painful sexual intercourse some patients also have heavy menstrual bleeding and in more severe cases patients have symptoms related to the bowel and the bladder that means difficulty in passing stools pain while passing stools or pain while passing urine or even in some extreme cases blood in the urine and while passing stools so these are the possible uh, symptoms that they may present the other symptom of course is infertility meaning that patients are not able to get pregnant and a lot of times patients with endometriosis have a poor ovarian reserve and poor oocyte quality that means that the quality of egg which is forming from their body is suboptimal as compared to someone who does not have endometriosis the condition can be diagnosed on ultrasound most of the times patients would have a cyst in the ovary and the treating sonologist or radiologist will be able to tell you whether this is an endometriosis related cyst or not however beyond finding a cyst it may be difficult to find out other organ involvement on ultrasound sometimes we need to do an mri to find out whether or not the other organs have been involved and sometimes an mri too does not prove to be confirmatory in these cases we need to actually do a diagnostic laparoscopy to find out if there is any endometriosis prevalent inside and if endometriosis is seen then the treatment is to tackle or to do surgery for the endometriosis in the same city as regards treatment there are both surgical and non surgical methods of managing endometriosis 
and the choice of which method to take actually depends upon the extent of your disease and the extent of your symptoms so this is something that your physician your doctor your surgeon will take a call about as to which is the correct method of treatment for you in particular now uh, we are going to talk about medical management or non surgical management of endometriosis in one of our subsequent videos and i will be putting up the link in the comment section as and when possible however as far as the surgical management of endometriosis is concerned one of the things which is very important to note from a patient perspective is that the surgery must suit the disease which is being treated what do i mean by that uh, endometriosis is a disease which is known to be affecting various organ systems and a lot of times there are microscopic deposits which are found over a lot of other surfaces like the intestines or the bladder for that matter it is important to assess how much or how extensive surgery is required from the perspective of that particular patient and to not aim at trying to remove every possible deposit of endometriosis which is seen in the pelvis at the risk of causing a grave injury to one of the vital organs of the patient in some extents in some instances however it will be required that simultaneously the intestines or the bladder will have to be operated upon to remove the disease and give the patient a pain free life however it is very important to discuss with you with the patient as to what the extent of surgery is going to be and what kind of recovery you can expect after the surgery a proper preparation is required for this kind of major or should i say supra major surgery and also sometimes we require a multidisciplinary approach in which a urosurgeon that means a surgeon who deals with the kidney and the ureter is required sometimes a gastrosurgeon that means somebody who specializes in reconstructive surgeries of the intestine and of course a gynecologist and an endoscopic surgeon so this is the team approach that is required for complex cases like this and one needs to be very careful about pre operative planning to decide how much surgery is going to be required for which particular patient so that's it about endometriosis surgery in one of our subsequent videos we will be talking about non surgical management of endometriosis as well if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you like the video please click on the icon to subscribe to our channel and to keep receiving more updates thank you